Hey, Internet friends, this is Magic Brad with the Magic Brad Show, and I'm here, and I've got someone in the central time zone we're going to talk to today. He's just down 35W in a place called Texas, and I'm up here in Minneapolis, Minnesota. So let me bring him on. His name is Jack. Hello. A lag going on here. Yeah, we do, and I'm I'm actually I'm actually at expat Texan. Uh, I'm up in Kansas, so I'm closer to you. Oh, really? You're an expat yeah, Texan. A, well, I gotta I gotta have the Texas thing because you know I was born there, raised there, so you're never really not a Texan. But I'm I'm an expat, so yeah. Those are the rules. What happens in Texas stays out of Texas, or something like that. <laughs> Well, this is cool. This is fun. We've connected a lot on uh, other platforms, uh, the, like the Wealthy Affiliate Group. And uh, now we get to talk on the phone. We use this thing for a little bit, but there was no visual communication with this. It was just audio. And now we can see each other. That's pretty cool. Even though there's even a with my band, Even with my bandwidth issues, which I'll try to correct with new technology soon. Well, you never know how this stuff's all going to go. If they get that big 5G network coming into place, that might be, uh, you know, make things happen faster. Right now, we'll just pretend like we're talking to you on the moon or something. Sounds good. <laughs> I could float around in the picture or something like anti-gravity. <laughs> do that. So what is it you're doing now? I know that you're in the Wealthy Affiliate Group promoting that kind of stuff. But what is it? That, what else is it that you're you're actively involved in? Well, I'm actively involved in my day job, which is as a locksmith, um, but it's kind of on call. So some days you have nothing, some days you have too much. That's an interesting um, business. You know, I'm being a magician, I've got some locksmith friends and there's people that collect all these different kinds of hand handcuffs. Uh, a friend of mine, Mark Lemblad, he collects all sorts of that stuff. And, uh, I use the analogy of a combination lock. You know, you got that little combination lock and you, you turn yes. left to the right, a little, little bit to the left, a little bit to the right. And I use that analogy sometimes in this whole marketing world because what happens is some people think that, oh, I'll just get my affiliate link for my product and I'll throw it out on the internet and people will find it and they'll just buy things. And it's not that simple because there needs to be the alignment of the product and the market and the customer needs to want to have it. Like if, if you want to go out for Chinese food and, and all you can find is Mexican restaurants, you're probably not going to go there unless you're really hungry, then you might. Or like that yep. other analogy I used of people that are vegans and vegetarians, they're not going to be buying hamburgers and hot dogs and steaks, you know? So you people well, they can line go to Burger King and get the not meat Whopper, though. They do have that. See, there you go. I don't know <laughs> if any vegans would touch that kind of stuff, though. That's, I've never that's tried it. So. I did have one and it didn't taste any different. It's just, uh, I don't know if that stuff's real meat in the first place. Anyways, so that, that alignment thing is important. And that's what I use the concept of a combination lock. Because if you know the combination to the lock, it's pretty easy to open up. If you don't exactly. know the combination, it's not very easy. So the solution is simple well, if you got the combination. Well, like, and you were asking about what else I'm involved in. Well, a good example of what you're talking about is I have eBooks on Amazon, but if people don't know exactly what to look for, they'll never find me. Exactly. That's that right keyword. And you got to take into consideration that they're not, you're not the only person that's got an eBook on Amazon. It's, a, it's very saturated. So it is, another way of do, doing it might be instead of marketing and, and hoping that the Amazon marketplace is going to provide your sales, if you have your own blog or website or whatever, and you draw traffic to that for people that do want eBooks on a specific topic and then direct them to Amazon to do the fulfillment, that might be a different that's, way. To, that's kind of my it. plan. That's kind of my plan. Uh, those, but I, you know, for instance, I could tell you what to type in and you'll find me immediately, but I can't tell everybody that unless I do have it on a site or something. And then that I still have to promote video. the site. Or well, video. video, yeah, that's, Dude, that's, my that's point. what I'm so practicing now. Give, give me an example. What, how would we find one of your eBooks? Well, you could type in my um, pseudonym, which is basically my first initial, my full middle name and my last name. So J Lynn Brown. Uh, I always say that's a good attorney name, like J. Lim Brown for the plaintiff, you know, but anyway, uh, because there's a, yeah, L-Y-N-N, -N, 
two N C R O W N. Is that J yeah. is that jlynnbrown.com? Uh, well, I have a website there, but it's probably going to be dead when it pulls up for you. Okay, so I won't use that. I'll just use I'm I'm doing a little. I'm showing you how how I'm using video to market products and services. So I just made this okay. little banner, and if you see this right here, ta-da, Jaylen Brown. That's what we're looking for, oh, right? Yeah. So if Looks someone good. wants to uh, to uh, invest in one of your eBooks, that's how they find it. They just go on to Amazon or probably just Google that keyword right there and they'll be able to find that book. And they'll they'll bring in they'll bring in few, a few of them and stuff. Um, I've also typed in like the the title of the series and it'll bring a lot of them together. But if you're just looking for historical science fiction, God, I'm oh, probably got out there. 20 or 30. You froze up for a little bit. You're coming back. Here he comes. He comes back. <laughs> <laughs> you dropped off. Twenty-year-old technology. Back. <laughs> 20 yeah, year technology. <laughs> well, that's impressive that we're here twenty years ago. <laughs> hey, you know I'm impressed just to be here. Uh, and everybody out there, don't be afraid. Just get on with Brad and do this because it's just like you're talking to somebody on the screen. You well, don't know who's talking. <laughs> well, I appreciate you, that. Well, but it's the it's true. It's like you don't know who you're talking to. I mean, there could be some serial killer looking at me. I don't care. I'm not there. I'm here. So just I'm talking well, to you, Brad, because I can see your face. Exactly, and that's what I do when I have people that are trying to. Appeared. The hell's going on here? Before I get involved with their system or whatever. I will ask them to get on video like this. And nine yes. out of 10 times when they're trying to sell me some kind of Bitcoin thing or something, mm, it's I some don't... fluffy BS crap. And I, I need to know what kind of Bitcoin a thing it is. Cause there's a lot of stuff out there. That's just basically for, for those that don't know there, there are legitimate products. There is something going on with that blockchain thing and Bitcoin and Ethereum and all that. Some of those are real things, but then people will put something in front and they'll call it like mycryptosystem.com. Yeah. And then they will charge you 20 bucks a month or or $997 or something like that to get into their special training and all this. And it's really just a nothing but a bunch of fluffy crap. They don't know what the hell they're doing in the first place. And unfortunately, there's a lot of that fraudulent half-assed stuff out there. And uh, asking them to get on video like this. It, it stops them because they know that if they got their face on video and I've got it recorded that we can track them down someday. Yeah. Facial, facial recognition will get me. <laughs> yeah. I'm a real person. I just do this and they can't tell. Well, see, look, well, I do this and it's like, Whoa, who's that guy? <laughs> <laughs> the costume change just like that. Exactly. So, how long you been a locksmith? Uh, going on 29 years. Wow. So is that some of your ebooks? Is that some of your, cho your topics on your ebooks? Is locksmithing? Ironically, no. Uh, I thought about doing a how to on a couple of things, but mine's more historical science fiction. And then I have um, I have one called The County about uh, municipal government run amok as far as property taxes go and stuff. So it's kind of a story, but it's based on true facts. And if you live where I live, you'll know exactly where I'm talking about, even though the names have been changed to protect the not so innocent. <laughs> we have to put this back up there. You guys might want to get that book, especially if you live down in that area. <laughs> well, they'll, they'll, uh, they'll know. Uh, and that's going to help pay my property taxes, by the way, people that live in my area. <laughs> there you go. So we're doing a little fundraiser here. Help Jeffrey pay for his for his uh, property taxes. That's, uh, that's an honorable thing. There are going to be some fairly serious things happening, I think, in our e economy with this COVID situation. It's shut Very down so up. many businesses, and a lot of businesses are going to go out of business, and uh, people that want to go back to work can't go back to work. And the businesses that are willing to hire them aren't going to be able to pay them what they used to be paying people. And I believe... A lot of people are going to jump into this affiliate marketing world and try and make money yeah. on the internet this way. Um, but they have to be my, careful my theory. because it's hard work. It's not just you're going to get rich quick. It's not going to happen. You have to put in the work. 
So yeah, well, you do have to take action, just like anything. And uh, I feel that a lot of this, like video like this, will quantum leap over the the, the, the lack of trust. And um, there, are, people don't realize it, but there's some fairly significant affiliate products that you can sell. I just heard about a guy that uh, in San Diego, they are going to mandate solar in the developments down there, the real estate developments. Oh, so wow. If you can get hooked up with mandating a real estate development. That's good for about a $10,000 commission. So all you are oh, is a wow. bird dog for that kind of stuff. So instead of doing these little $20 here and uh, making 3% on Amazon, there's some significant uh, commissions that are available. If, and I, I read an article a while back about how a lot of the big brands are leaving places like Facebook because Facebook's got a like, controversial stuff going on it. They don't want to be associated yeah. with it. And they're putting all Unilever, these money. I these believe. Huh? Unib Unilever, I believe, pulled their ads, I think, on Facebook. Well, a lot of people are. What, they're, what, the, what they were saying is these big brands are shifting to a uh, affiliate model because they don't have to pay anything until the affiliate sells something. That makes more sense. Yeah. So that's where Unless they don't necessarily they don't necessarily want to be associated with, say, Mark Zuckerberg and his thoughts on things. Well, that's what I'm saying is they're going to jump ship and yeah. they'll create their own affiliate program. And they'll rec recruit their own affiliates. It's like their sales team. And they will create their own affiliate managers that will help these people. How do you do this kind of thing? How do you do this affiliate marketing? There's another program that I'm promoting now. It's called Referizer. And what it's for is for people to uh, do their little Yelp reviews and the five-star reviews. You know, you go to a restaurant and say, hey, that was one of the best pizzas I ever, ever had. I'm going to give them five stars for their pepperoni pizza and I'm going to tell my friends and there's a platform yeah. that, uh, that restaurants can use. In fact, retailers, yoga studios, fitness studios, um, all these other things, um, all these retail businesses can use this platform and Service then you've got, yeah, you've got locksmiths, you know, yeah. if they want to get the five stars on Yelp or whatever, and then have customers, you, you tell your customer, if you like my service, please give me a review. And uh, this software system does that and it uh, prevents the, the negative reviews from going out right away where you can get a chance to resolve yourself. Well, and that's then a good thing. A five yeah. Star. yeah. So that's another th an affiliate program that I'm promoting and it's an ongoing recurring commission. So I just... Uh, uh, got sent off two leads. I've got another guy that's doing the closing for me because I don't want to get on the phone. I'm just teeing up the leads for him. He gets on the phone, talks to the leads, and then I end up getting a 20% commission that'll be a recurring, ongoing, monthly thing as long as they use the system. You know? Yeah, that sounds pretty good. There's lots of stuff out there that a lot of people don't realize. And some people look at this affiliate thing like they, they, they equate it a little bit to the multi-level marketing pyramid thing. And a lot of people are afraid of that. You know, that's a pyramid scam, which it's yeah, not a pyramid done, scam. It's just a system. We've all done Amway and everything else at one time or another. So, Well, there's, <laughs> I think there's beginning to be more of a hybrid of those types of platforms where it's a hybrid of the, the networking and the affiliate stuff. Cause they do have multiple tier affiliate programs. I'm in some, in fact, this referral one, it's uh, it's multi-tier where the guy that closes the deal, he gets 40% because he's okay. making the calls, doing the work. I'm sure. willing to take just 20% because I don't want to make those calls. So, I tee it up. I get 20%. He gets 40%. That's 60%. The company gets the 40 uh, leftover. Well, give me like 5% of that if I just got to hang around or something. <laughs> cool. I'd be happy with that. <laughs> well, there may be. I don't know if it's just for hanging around, but uh, doing things well, like this. Well, exactly. I mean, I'll put in a blurb for somebody if I like the product. See, I've got some other strategies that I'm using that are unorthodox. They're different and I don't mind sharing them, but here's, here's another one I've got. Um, this is called our magic deal. Now what our magic deal is, in fact, I don't want to show you that. Well, yeah, I will show you that one. Our magic deal is a online education platform called easy one up. And I'm doing this in conjunction with another guy and another few people 
where we use a URL rotator. So this URL rotator goes to multiple people at the same time. So ah. I get one, you get one, she gets one, I get one, you get one, she gets one, I get one. And it, that's how the traffic flows. And it goes to this thing called Easy One Up. And Easy One Up is an educational, kind of like Wealthy Affiliate is all this education, how to do things. It's right. similar, but it's all video. It's all video-based education. It's, it's where we're talking, where we're stuff. talking back and forth to each other and stuff, or no, no, no. It's 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 just classes. It's like I got you. First off, if you're going to be an entrepreneur, you got to get the entrepreneurial mindset and realize that it isn't. Uh, that you got to get out of bed in the morning. You got to go to work. You got to have an entrepreneurial mindset. So the, the right. beginning class is it's just twenty five bucks. So Maybe that's you can what afford I'm doing that wrong. to get educated. And then it goes up, it's on an ascending level, so you can learn more and learn other things like how to do YouTube and all that. That's what's at this one right here, OurMagicDeal.com. Then I've okay. got another one that I've got. The referral one is at MyMagicDeal.com. So the okay. referral deal, that's not gonna be on there uh, for a long time. I'm using that just temporarily. But right now it redirects to that, that referizer program I was just telling you about. Okay. So that's my method of doing this. It's a little different than spamming a link because here's what happens when you put a link on Facebook or LinkedIn or Twitter and all that stuff. Those platforms, those algorithms will suppress you. So you don't get seen. Oh, I can see. I can understand that. Yes. Yeah. Well, and then I've been reading, you know, even in the blogs about certain people that their stuff suspended or, or closed for no reason or whatever. And, so the, it always yeah. seems like a big stumbling block to me. Um, there is. Um, I've made. I do. A lot of, I used to do a lot of Facebook advertising for my events, and it was just a struggle. All of a sudden, because if you do something and you were use the word "real" in there and the word "estate" in there, they think it's a real estate ad, and then they won't approve it. <laughs> you know. Yeah. It's, so I'm, I'm circumventing that stuff, trying to move the online chatter back into real life activity. And this video stuff like this where we're talking, it's a little closer to real life. So well, in the, last, in the last few blogs of yours that I've read, I've been more intrigued as you've discussed it because I understand. Uh, I've seen the struggles with the websites or you're also, you're also beholden to whatever Google decides to change on you after you finally get something going seems like it keeps pushing you down. Um, I know people can succeed at it, obviously, but um, that's maybe that's why I've been slow about it. I think they were more successful quite a few years ago. Things have changed a lot. See, because what happens with something as complicated as a WordPress blog is there's a lot of different things in there that can go wrong. And then people put these... Uh, takes one. Yeah, it's like a car transmission. If one gear is stripped, you ain't going nowhere. Exactly. So <laughs> let's just so hope the, let's just hope the reverse gear doesn't get stripped. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've done that back in the day. <laughs> and uh, so what happens with those complicated websites is they've got all these things that can go wrong and something goes wrong and all of a sudden Facebook or Google or whatever says we ain't going to allow that anymore. Or there might be a plugin that's obsolete that's connecting, you know, uh like one thing to another thing. They're going to integrate and they're going to connect. But all of a sudden, these guys don't have their Monday meeting and this guy changes something and doesn't tell them, oops, I didn't tell you about that. Now the integration doesn't work. Well, and it's like you said a second ago, or somebody just wakes up after having a bad day and just decides this isn't happening anymore. Yep. And you're at the whim of somebody that you can't have any control over. Yes, yeah, so had a, what I'm trying to what I I'm trying to do is bridge that gap and just go right into, first you need to trust me. If you don't trust me, move on. Go someplace else. Go talk to Gary Vaynerchuk or, or Russell Brunson or. Well, I mean, I'm actually speaking to a human right now, so I trust you. I mean, there I've you seen go. your picture. I've talked to you on the phone. Now I'm talking to you direct, although I, I look like an old uh, kung fu movie or something. But anyway, uh, you know, but I, I see who you are and. So I think you've hit it right on the head as far as how the people that are really going to succeed need I would, to. I would say what you should do is you should position yourself as a, as a, uh, oh, you'd cut out there. You'll come back. Come on, Jeffrey. He's I'm back. back. Yay. 
I would say with your beard and your hat like that, we'll say that you're in some cabin in the woods somewhere and the, the Wi-Fi isn't all that good. So you're out enjoying well, I your need life. A wood, I need a wooded backdrop. I need I need some trees in the back seat. Well, it looks good right there. I, I can't tell what it is. There's a it looks like there's a pipe back there or something. You got Darth Vader back no, there. I've got, I've got Darth Vader on one side and I have um, uh, Mad Mardigan from Willow blocking all my junk so you don't see my ugly desk. <laughs> Are you there? Mine just jumped out too. So I'm, you obviously have some, uh, I'm hardwired too. I'm hardwired to our router and we got issues. Well, I'm, I'm, um, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm not hardwired. Mine's Wi Fi, but, uh, this is a learning experience too. But I was going to say to everybody out there that ends up watching this, you see how bad my video is, but I'm right out here and it'll only get better. Um, just got to put yourself out whether you're totally ready or not, because there's never going to be a time when you're totally ready. You just need to, to do it. And then, uh, there's no right or wrong. It's that fear thing, that false evidence appearing real. And it's not, it's not that big a deal, but some people are concerned about their identity being stolen. But if someone wants to steal your identity, they're going to take it. It's just the way it steal is. Steal my identity. I dare you. That's right. I don't know Bill who I Robert am. How do you Conrad. Think <laughs> I don't think you'd want my identity. <laughs> well, Jeff, I've been going for about, we've been going for about 21 minutes, almost 22 minutes. And I don't like to do these too long because I okay. like to keep it condensed okay. so people can digest yep. it all. Yep. But we can definitely do some more of these. And uh, I appreciate Love you to. taking the time today. If you want to stay on, I'm just going to close this off. And, okay. uh, okay. and we can have another conversation. Uh, we can stay on here and just deal with it. But it's, I'm going to shut down the recording. That's okay? fine. Yep. So I appreciate it, Jeff. Why don't you stick on? We'll talk to you soon. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Brad. All right. Thank you, Brad. So, ladies and gentlemen, boys and berries, that was my friend Jeffrey. He's in Kansas now, but he's originally from, you can tell the accent a little bit down south, down 35W. And I'm going to shut this thing down. If you have any questions, you can contact me. And you can find me at... See if I can find it. There it is, contactmagicbrad.com. That'll take you and give you my phone number. It'll also give you a link to my Facebook Messenger if you want to connect with me. I appreciate taking the time. If you want to know more about me, just Google that keyword, Magic Brad, and you'll find me. Peace, love, and happiness. This is Magic Brad, and I'm out. Bye.